And so I want to take you on this journey. It's found in Matthew chapter 5, and Jesus calls us to live this, this life of opposites out, okay? And so I want to give a little uh, context to the Sermon on the Mount. He goes on this mount, and the disciples come. Um, the crowd start, the multitude start gathering around him, and Jesus starts teaching. And I, I want to say that when Jesus stepped on the scene, Pastor Jason kind of touched up on this a little bit last week, but when Jesus stepped on the scene, the, the Jewish people were expecting Jesus to be this king that was going to come and, and overturn the Roman government, and he was going to come by force and majesty, and they were like, yes, the Messiah is here. Like, he's going to do it. He's going to set us free. He's going to break these political bondages that we have here. And, and so Jesus steps on the scene, and they're like, okay, you know, this is Jesus. This is the Messiah. This is what he's, he's come for. Like, he's going to reign here. And, and Jesus comes on the scene, and everybody comes, and, and Jesus says, blessed are those who are poor in spirit, right? Blessed are the, are the meek, for they will inherit the kingdom of God. And he, he goes on, blessed are those who show mercy and compassion. Blessed are those who are persecuted. And so Jesus starts to, to teach his people, like, these are the people that are blessed. And Jesus is talking about his kingdom. He's talking about his kingdom being an internal kingdom rather than an external kingdom. And that's what the people in that time wanted. They wanted a king that would rise. But Jesus says, the kingdom doesn't live on the external. The kingdom lives inside of you. And this is what a kingdom civilian looks like. Like this is what a true Christ follower looks like. This is the way a true Christ follower acts. Jesus uses the phrase, you've heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And he's referring back to the Old Testament law of retaliation. And it was used to govern God's people in those times. It was used to, to justify uh, civil um, issues and, and it was used to, to provide justice in those times and God gave it to Moses and that's how they conducted the government in those times. But what happened is over the years, the Pharisees began to use this law of retaliation and the religious people, they began to use this law for personal revenge against people. And so they took what God made to govern people as an external government law and they began to use it in their personal lives and it became an internal heart issue within them and they began to take revenge on people saying oh well this is what the law says there's retaliation so i'm going to match that punishment but somewhere in that down the line it got corrupted in their hearts and they used it for for ill intent for some of you guys here today there are certain things that you just need to let go of there are certain things that you just keep fighting for or there are certain things that you're just like i need to get what's mine right i need to get i need to get I need to have the last word. I need to get all that I can because that's what's fair to me. That's what's right to me. But I just want you to pray. I just want you to pray because not all things, right, are beneficial. Not all things. I mean, I, I think God is, is dealing with us each day and he's speaking to us. And there's things that we can just let go of and just let him, let him handle it in your life. You'll feel a, lot, a whole lot better if you just let it go and let God deal with, with your issue.